When you think about wine, France, Spain, and Italy typically come to mind, but it's actually Israel that's one of the oldest wine regions on the planet. Locals have been producing wine here for the last 5,000 years. And that's why this year, 40 different wineries from around the world are here in Tel Aviv to take part in Israel's own version of the World Taste Festival. Here's the catch. Every single bottle is kosher. So, what makes a wine kosher? Sabbath observant Jews must supervise and handle the entire winemaking process, all the way from the time the grapes are crushed until the wine is bottled up. And all ingredients used must be kosher. Kosher wine overall was used to be sweet wines. In the last 20 years, we've revolutionized and changed the whole image that you can have very nice dry wines from all over the world, Israel, California, France, Italy, Spain, and the retail prices kept on going up as the demand for quality went up. 15 years ago, the most expensive wine was $20, $22. Today, you have wines anywhere from $20, $40, $60, $80, $150 a bottle from Napa Valley or from the Golan Heights or from Bordeaux because people are looking constantly, give me something better and better and better. And they're, it's, it's unstoppable. <clears throat> There's zero difference in taste and quality between kosher and non-kosher wine at all. And the proof is, look at all the people here. Most of them don't keep kosher, and they're enjoying the wines. Israeli wines have nothing to be ashamed of. They can compete with top Bordeaux wines, top Spanish wines, top Italian wines. And many of the Israeli wineries at today's events have really special stories to tell. The Glutz Winery story is like the story of the Jewish nation. When Yaakov and Amma, the founders and CEO of this winery, started building the winery, they looked for a room to age the wine in barrels. They had an ancient cave in the backyard. They emptied it out. One of the amazing things they found is this coin. And this coin is related to the Great Revolt time. 2,000 years ago, with the image of amphora, an ancient dish when they used to age wine with the engraving for the freedom of Zion. And when they found this, they realized it's a calling. A calling to continue this great legacy of Jews making and producing premium wine from this area thousands of years ago. So Lechaim and Rink Israeli Wine.